kept thinking, okay, I have this really cool skill set. If I finish my work with NASA, I could go work for a lot of people. Going to the first 48-hour launch event hosted by Colab is really the first time gave me the idea saying, hey, I should really consider this concept of maybe starting my own company. I went to Colab and brought in my device. I said, this is what I do. And I'm thinking about taking this concept I have with connecting sensors with smartphones and take it further outside of NASA and create my own products. And they were kind of really surprised because they did not realize this type of technology is developed in Chattanooga or is being developed in Chattanooga. It's pretty amazing to see an engineer come in off the street, we had never met him, and just sit down on a couch and start brainstorming ideas to what he's doing now, which is revolutionizing paint and interiors. They're doing really innovative stuff out of a city like Chattanooga where a lot of people would never have imagined these kinds of innovations coming from. I think to an outsider, someone who's not from Chattanooga, it might be surprising that someone like George would be here and would be doing what he's doing. But I think George is but uh, one of a number of examples now of really Silicon Valley caliber companies here in Chattanooga. And that's a really good combination. Uh, particularly if you're an investor, you're going to be looking for great opportunities, great entrepreneurs, great companies, but you oftentimes want to look a little bit off the beaten track. So when we first started CoLab, we got the question of why Chattanooga all the time. And my reply to them was always, why not Chattanooga? There's a lot of resources here that have been untapped for a really long time. We've been doing this for seven years and you learn a lot. If I looked at myself from seven years ago, I would not recognize myself. It's that drastic of a change. We learn so much about how to run a business, how to actually produce and manufacture. And we're also sharing that skill set to others so that people do not make the same mistakes or people can get there faster than we did. It's very cool when you see someone like George who's come all the way through to come full circle and begin to be you know, a support to organizations like ours and the students that we work with uh, is pretty cool. And we see that you know, not, not just with him, but with other entrepreneurs as well. Really 10 years ago, the entrepreneurial ecosystem didn't look anything like it looks today. It was largely driven by older industry companies that had some success. As far as this new generation of entrepreneurship, Chattanooga really was not there. Uh, with the advent of the gig infrastructure from ETB, we kind of launched ourselves into the innovation economy, and that allowed us to attract some incredible companies to the space. We see more students after graduation staying in Chattanooga because I think Chattanooga has now a lot more opportunities that the students can get involved with. And this is part of it is students that are getting involved either in bigger companies or startup companies because there are more opportunities here in town. And now in Chattanooga, we can really generate enough graduates from UTC that, that they can get involved with these companies. There are a lot of opportunities for them that they can choose from. In 2017, Chattanooga had the sixth highest wage growth in the country for any size area. That's huge for us because when we see entrepreneurship growing in our community, that lifts wages and changes an entire community's future. I wanted to make a greater impact. I wanted to be able to create something, to invent. And that's really kind of been my driving purpose behind life. In order to really build the things that you want to build, you have to start a company to be able to do that. Because if you work for a company, it's very unlikely that you will build the things that you want to build, but rather you build the things other people want to build. For us to look back and just think that, you know, that couch over there is where a lot of this stuff kind of got started on the commercialization side of things. It's, it's cool for us to be a part of that journey, but he's, he's the one that's done all of the hard work we just played a small role in that. The desire to help entrepreneurs is, is pretty basic, uh, where other people have helped me, and I want to help others as well to grow their ideas, especially you know, so much of what I've learned. I don't want to just bottle up in, my, in myself. I want to share that so that other people can learn. We are looking at problems collaboratively. We look at it together to see that where are the problems, from different aspects. What are the challenges? What are the research and development that we can do here in Chattanooga with UTC and other entities? And that is helping us to bring that knowledge back to the university and train students for that as well. 
I think entrepreneurship here in Chattanooga is on the rise. I think it's been a few decades of, of hard, hard work from a lot of people, but I think we now have uh, real momentum. But Chattanooga is a very cohesive community where they come together and support truly puts an effort in supporting a startup ecosystem. And over the last 10 years, it's starting to pay off and clearly shows. I'm kind of excited to see what the next 10 years would, would look like.